Hi, I'm Shane McLeod from Remax Gold in Gladstone and welcome to today's tour of this great home on the market at 30 Hanson Crescent in Clinton. Now, this is a home that I call a good, honest family home. So whether you're looking for something to move into for yourself and your family or for a great investment property, this one should definitely be on your view list. It's located, as I said, in the suburb of Clinton, so handy uh, to local shopping the Bunnings Centre, Harvey uh, Road Tavern, uh, the Marley Brown football fields, Clinton State Primary School, St John's Primary School and much, much more. If you have a look at the drone shots uh, online, uh, I've got a couple of great shots here which show its proximity to all those great facilities. Now, it is a four bedroom high set home. Uh, it's been built in underneath with that downstairs area being utilised for a bar room, uh, maybe another TV room or uh, older kids' bedroom if you've got a couple of independent teenagers who want their own space. And there's some office space down there as well. Really solid, well presented overall um, and well worth your consideration. So as we always do, I'm going to flip the camera around, give you a look around the street first and then we'll begin the tour inside. Okay, so Hanson Crescent, uh, Turnaround Street. Uh, generally, the only traffic you're going to get up through here is for the people who live in the area. A lot of these uh, high set style of homes, um, it was all built around the early 70s, uh, this area, so well established. There was um, Clinton State School in the area. As Gladstone was growing, Clinton uh, became one of its early bigger suburbs and definitely still one of the most popular with families because of its um position close to those schools good neighbors all around you'll find it's mostly these high set style of homes which were quite popular in that time uh, because they were nice and cool these were the days of before split system air conditioning the high set homes were definitely a lot cooler so here we are at 30 hanson crescent as you can see another one of these high set homes all fully fenced uh, completely around the yard apart from the driveway access to the uh, carport. Um, so great if you've got a family uh, with some lilies or maybe some pets. Very secure from the street. Certainly something that will be popular with tenants as well if you are looking for a great investment property. All looks good from the outside, well presented. Roof looks good too, you can see that from the street. Quite important. So as we come down into that carport area, you see there's a security screen out that goes out the back there as well. Good drainage all set up, as you would have seen you do walk down here. So drainage has all been put in to take any of that water away so you don't have any issues there. Okay, let's pop in through the front yard here. Great size yard. As I said, if you've got those littlies that want a bit of room to kick a ball around, set up some swings out the front, you can certainly do that here. Oh, nice, nice big fig there. Gardens look great. They've just been freshly done. New bark mulch in there as well. Weatherboard home. Good solid hardwood construction back in the day too. It's the other thing I love about this era of home. I live in an early 70s vintage home myself. They were certainly built to last. A little bit of access down the side here to get you to the backyard. There's also another doorway access to underneath there. So as I mentioned, if you've got some older teenage kids who want a bit of independence, you could certainly set them up downstairs there, no problem at all. Now there is also some storage underneath the front balcony here. So great place to pop the mower, all your yard bits and pieces. So yeah, great handy storage space in under there. No real need for a shed unless you want to put vehicles in one and work on projects, things like that. Okay, so let's get upstairs into the home. This lovely big veranda on the front of the home, all timber. So 
a great place to sit out of a morning. It's all shaded out here in summer, nice and cool out here, first up in the day. And then as you can see, the owners have had uh, sun shades installed along the front to combat any of that afternoon sun. The other great thing they've installed, uh, particularly on the main bedroom, so both windows in here have got these electric shutters. Uh, so shift workers in particular will appreciate that. You can totally block out everything in the room. It's also on one on the front of the front entry there, which again, just helps keep that afternoon heat down from the sun. Security screens and doors all the way around too as well. Okay, so just a little sunroom entry here with that vinyl planking laid throughout. Really easy to look after. Just run a quick broom or a mop over it and it tidies up. And nice big open plan living area there as well. So great lounge space. Plenty of room for big TV, nice big split system air conditioner uh, there as well. Fujitsu split system air conditioners fitted throughout the home, including the bedrooms. So that easily does this entire space. You have room to set up your TV and whatnot there. Maybe dining suite down on this side is the obvious place for all of that give you plenty of room to utilize your lounge. Kitchen has been refurbished at some stage, so all in good condition. Dishwasher stays. Check out the oven, 900 mil oven. A lot of people love these. So gas electric, gas cooktop electric underneath and nice big stainless steel canopy range hood up above. Good bench space, plenty of cupboards. More over this side. Nice big double fridge space there as well. A pantry. A little space over here, which I imagine would be great for it's where the coffee machine's going to go. Toaster, all those early morning bits. I'll take you out the back on the way downstairs. There's a nice deck out there as well. Paint works pretty good all the way throughout, so nothing has to be done straight away. So we come down the hallway, main bathroom is first on the left there. You've got shower over bath there. Nice big swing door there. Makes it nice and easy to get in and out for your shower. Vanity. You've got uh, some linen storage in on this side as well. Plenty of shelving and another storage space up top as well. And the other feature you'll love, and it's a great one to teach the kids to make sure they put their clothes out in the hamper every night, is this laundry chute, which shoots straight down into the laundry below. So at the end of the day, drop them in there, drops down into a hamper in the laundry, ready to go to get them in the wash. Great idea. Separate toilet, which everyone appreciates. There is also a second toilet downstairs too. So I know busy families appreciate that second toilet, particularly in the mornings when things are busy. You've got uh, some utility cupboard storage here in the hallway. So somewhere to pop the brooms, the vacuum and bits and pieces. And then we're up into the bedrooms up the end. So four bedrooms, all good average size rooms. All air conditioned, as I mentioned earlier, and all have built in robes as well. So, those rooms with the access onto the front all have security screens in place. And you've got nice big double robes there. So, that's bedroom four. Come around to bedroom three. Again, those robes air conditioned. Carpets have been replaced at some stage. A couple of little marks around a few of them. This one's probably the worst of it. It might come up 
better with another steam clean. Try that out, but it's no real biggie. Air conditioning, that nice big double robe. So that's bedroom two. And bedroom one, as you'd expect, a lot bigger again. You'd actually get a king size bed in here, no problem at all if you needed it. So clean obviously will fit very comfortably. Air conditioned, as I mentioned, those uh, electric shutters are fitted to both of these windows. So if you're a shift worker or your tenants are a shift worker, they will love that. You'll love that. They really do black out the whole room, close it all up, turn that aircon on, guaranteed a good sleep after working night shifts. Nice big double robe there as well. So good size family home upstairs. Let's get you down the back. Have a look out there as well. So you've got two great entertaining options here in this home. Well, three actually, if you count that front veranda. But you've got this nice big deck straight off the kitchen. So perfect. Maybe just to pop the Weber out here. Great little family barbecue spot. You know, you'll fit six or eight people out here around a table, no problem at all. Captures a nice breeze. Overlooks the backyard if the kids are out there having a play. Nice and private, it's all tree lined around the property. Great little spot. Okay, let's get downstairs. Have a look underneath and at the backyard. So just to get your bearings again, that's the rear of the uh, carport there that I mentioned before. And you've got a great backyard here. Again, six foot fencing all the way around. Ooh, nice little passion fruit vine there. If you love your passion fruit, great with a bit of ice cream of an evening. But good yard again for kids and pets to have a kick around and do what they want or if you need to separate pets and kids the front and back is all totally separated now i've got double gate on this side to open open up uh, that side access there if you need it there is a little uh, rock retaining wall and stuff up there so you know, maybe it would have to modify it if you wanted some drive-through access and obviously you'd have to modify that fencing around the front but it's more been fitted, I think, to just get good access in here if you need to get anything in and out. And another great slab underneath as well for downstairs parties. So if you've got a bunch of people coming over, you can set this up really well. Down here, they come down through the carport, through the side, you have your barbecue and bits and pieces set up there. And then you've got your games room and bar in under here. Check that out, it's all tiled. That pool table slash ping pong table is going to stay with the property. So if you love your pool, that's all uh, yours for the taking or your cues and the triangle up there. TV is staying as well. So great for weekends. People around for the footy, You've got the bar over there in the corner. Second toilet's in behind this door here. So again, no need to have people up through the main part of the home if you're entertaining. Don't want it. Nice big brick bar. I'm sure that'll be popular. There's power over here in the corner to pop your bar fridge in. Yeah, that works. Eh? Geez, that'll be effective at night too. Little prairie lights, I reckon they'll be leaving those as well. But yeah, what a great space. Now under here, these homes originally when they were built, weren't built in underneath. Uh, generally you'll find they're all done later on. So this one isn't what we consider or class as legal height. 2.4 metres is what we class as legal height as such. It doesn't mean it can't be built in. It just means you can't use it, technically use it as livable space. Um, but a lot of people do now. I'm six foot three. 
and I can walk around under here without bumping my head on anything at all. I think most people will be fine for these rooms. Okay, so just off that games room, nice big laundry. You could uh, get a freezer in there as well if you need it, or another big drinks fridge, which would be handy for that area. Nice big cabinets. Space there for your washing machine. Come through to another. It's a big, great little office, actually. A storeroom. Plenty of room in there. Pop some extras in. And then you've got this other nice big room here, which has been used, I know, as a TV room, kids' play area. Uh, I know previous um, occupants have definitely used this for you know, guest room for when people come and stay. As I mentioned earlier, if you've got any of those independent teenagers who want their own space and maybe older can come and go as they please, you've got separate access from the outside. It's all air conditioned, um, so very handy to utilise for that second living space if you wanted to. All brick under here, which keeps it nice and cool. You know, it's a hot day outside at the moment. I reckon it's probably 26 degrees or maybe better in here at the moment. Very comfortable. And then you have got that air con if you need it. So really great space underneath the home in addition to a four bedroom home upstairs. Um, this home's actually got a lot to offer. Okay, thanks for joining me on the walkthrough tour. I'm finishing out on that back deck upstairs. Uh, it's nice and cool up here today. It's, it's quite hot, but there is actually a nice breeze floating around up here. Uh, if you look over my shoulder there, I wanted to finish here just to show you how close you are to that Ballantyne Street shopping complex. Uh, you've got a food works down there, butcher, accountant, the petrol stations being uh, revamped at the moment, bakery, beerless bars down there. There is, uh, there's a doctor's surgery down there. So everything's really right on your doorstep here. And if you're looking a little further over that big white structure behind the pole there, that's actually Marley Brown Football Stadium. So the locals will know the Bunning Centre's right beside that, Harvey Road Tavern and Clinton State School straight across the road. St John's is literally only a, I don't know, five, seven minute walk away, I reckon. Uh, so it's really nice and handy to everything. Great, solid, honest family home. I know I keep saying that, but these homes really grab my eye when I see them uh, because I know they're good, solid homes. Great starters for first home buyers. Uh, perfect for investors as well. If you're further interested and would like to book your walkthrough, uh, I invite purchase ready buyers, those who have got their finance sorted, ready to go, um, to give me a call on 041 333 1945. For your walkthrough certainly if you've got any questions give me a call uh, as well check the links in the post there will also be one to a full 360 degree virtual tour and also the web links which will have all those photos check out those drone shots for those uh, to show you how close we are to all those main facilities um, and some other great photos and information pricing of course in there as well for you thanks again my name's Shane McLeod from Remax Gold I uh, appreciate you joining me today. Cheers. Sold, sold, sold for the max. Shane McLeod at Remax Gold.